view of mine is both placenta previa or low lying placenta that occurs when the placenta covers part or all of the cervix during the last months of pregnancy. This condition can cause severe bleeding before or during labor. Earlier, I posted a short video about placenta previa on this channel. I hope you have already seen that video and today I am going to discuss this illness in detail. Well, the placenta develops in a woman's uterus during pregnancy. This sac-like organ provides the developing baby with food and oxygen. It also removes waste products from the baby's blood. The placenta is also referred to as afterbirth because it exits the body after the baby is born. During pregnancy, the placenta moves as the uterus stretches and grows. It is normal for the placenta to be low in the uterus in early pregnancy. As the pregnancy continues and the uterus stretches, the placenta typically moves to the top of the uterus. By the third trimester, the placenta should be near the top of the womb. This position allows the cervix uh, or the entrance to the womb at the bottom of the, of the uterus a clear path for delivery. If the placenta attaches instead to the lower part of the uterus, it can cover part or all of the cervix. When the placenta covers part or all of the cervix during the last months of pregnancy, the condition is known as placenta previa or low-lying placenta. Most women with this condition will require bed rest. Now I'll tell you the symptom associated with placenta previa. The main symptom is the sudden uh, light to heavy bleeding from the vagina and it is usually painless with the clear uh, uh, bright red blood. But you may suffer from cramps or sharp pains and the bleeding that starts, stops and begins again days or weeks later. Uh, you may suffer from bleeding after intercourse ble or bleeding during the second half of pregnancy. Now I'll tell you the risk factor for developing placenta previa. Uh, risk factor for the development of placenta previa include unusual position of the baby, that is uh, bridge pre presentation, uh, I mean in, in that presentation buttocks come first, or transfer lie, that is across the uh, horizontally across the womb, previous surgery that involve the uterus such as cesarean delivery, surgery to remove uterine fibroids, D and C. Well, regarding fibroids, I have, a, uh, I have already posted a video on this channel and that is very interesting and informative video. You can see that video, okay. Other risk factors are being pregnant with twins or other multiples, prior miscarriage, large placenta, abnormally shaped uterus, having already given birth to one child, prior diagnosis of placenta previa, being older than 35, being Asian or being a smoker. Okay. And now I'll tell you about the diagnosis of placenta previa. Usually the first sign of placenta previa will show up during the routine 20th week ultrasound scan. These initial signs are not necessarily a cause for worry since the placenta is often lower in the uterus during the early part of the woman's pregnancy. The placenta usually corrects itself. According to the Royal College of Obstetrician and Gynecologist, only 10% of the cases, cases will go on to develop into full placenta previa. If you experience any bleeding in the second half of your pregnancy, doctors will monitor the position of the placenta using uh, uh, using these preferred methods which I am going to tell you now. Transvaginal ultrasound, your doctor places a probe inside the vagina to provide an inside view of your vaginal canal and cervix. This is the preferred and most accurate method for de determining placenta previa. And second method is transabdominal ultrasound. A healthcare technician places gel on your abdomen and moves a hand and unit called a transducer around your abdomen to view the pelvic organ. The sound waves make a picture on a TV-like screen. In some cases, you may require MRI. This imaging scan will help clearly determine the placenta location. Now I will tell you the types of placenta previa. There are four types of placenta previa ranging from minor to major. Each will have its own effect or whether a mother can have a normal delivery or whether she will need a cesarean delivery. Treatment for placenta previa will also be based on what type you have. So these types are, the first type is partial. The placenta only partially covers the opening of the cervix. Vaginal birth is still possible. Second type is low lying. This type begins in early to mid pregnancy. The placenta is positioned at the edge of the cervix and there is a good chance of having a vaginal delivery. The third type is marginal. 
the placenta begins to grow at the bottom of the uterus the placenta will normally push against the cervix but not cover it since the border of the placenta is touching the internal opening of the cervix any overlap during labor could cause minor bleeding however vaginal births are normally safe the fourth uh, type is major or complete this is the most serious type in major placenta previa the placenta will eventually cover the entire cervix c sections are usually recommended and in severe cases the baby may have to be delivered prematurely with all types heavy or uncontrolled uncontrolled bleeding may necessitate an emergency c section delivery to protect you and your baby now i'll tell you the treatment of placenta previa doctors will decide how to treat your placenta previa based on the amount of bleeding the month of your pregnancy the baby's health the position of the placenta and the baby the amount of the bleeding is a doctor's main consideration when deciding how to treat the condition if there is a minimal to no bleeding for cases of placenta previa with minimal or no bleeding your doctor will likely suggest bed rest this means resting in bed as much as possible and only standing and sitting when absolutely necessary you will also be asked to avoid sex and like likely exercise as well if bleeding occurs during this time you should seek medical care as soon as possible in case of heavy bleeding you may require hospital bed rest depending upon the amount of blood loss you may need blood transfusion you may also need to take medi- medicine to prevent premature labor in the case of heavy bleeding your doctor will advise a c section be scheduled as soon as it is safe to deliver preferably after 36 weeks if the c section needs to be scheduled sooner your baby may be given corticosteroid injection to speed up his or her lung growth in case of uncontrollable bleeding an emergency c section delivery will have to be performed now i'll tell you some complications of placenta previa during labor the cervix will open to allow the baby to move into the vaginal canal for birth if the placenta is in uh, front of the cervix it will begin to separate as the cervix opens causing internal bleeding this can necessitate an emergency c section even if the baby is premature as the mother could bleed to death if no action is taken vaginal birth also poses too many risks for the mother who could experience serious severe hemorrhage during labor delivery or after the first few hours of delivery so this was my video about placenta previa i hope you will like this video if you have any questions you can post your question in the comment section of this video on this channel there are so many medical related videos you can see those videos and if you have any illness for which you can't find a video please let me know and I'll, i'll try to upload video about that specific illness as soon as possible thanks for watching this video see you in next video bye for now